Hi guys, today I want to show you how to unfold the double culture surface into a 2D contour. Here's the part from our client here. You can see here this part is a solid model and uh, our software cannot handle the solid model. We only unfold the surfaces. So you can explode this model and then you get a lot of surfaces. You can put the top and bottom surface into one layer and then create a single surface to represent these, uh, uh, all these surfaces. So uh, in the SolidWorks, so Inventor and Rhino and the Solid Edge, we can unfold all these uh, surfaces, multi-surface into a single contour. But uh, for the uh, AutoCAD version, uh, you have you can only unfold the single surface for the double curvature surface. So here's uh, here's the surface that we got from the client here, and you can see here he has not created a single surface, but he created three surfaces. So you can you if you use explode command, and then you you, you explode this surface. You can see here you have three surfaces. So you cannot use our software to unfold this. So, and this is actually the final surface. This is actually a real single surface, and this surface that you can unfold together with the uh, with our software. So here, uh, here is the result. Here, let me delete this one here. Let me delete the result here, and unfold again here. So. And unfold surface, and then you hit return. You select the surface, so hit return, and then there's a curve here. I just want to show you here. You can unfold the curve together with the surface here. So if you select the curve here, and and then hit return, and then they will generate the 2D contour for you. So this curve can be, you know, a stiff landing curve in the shape design or any marking line that you want to put on the surface uh, in the 3D model and in the 2D contour. So here you have a flat, flat contour here. And then you can use it here to cut the flat material. And this, for this kind of surface, the accuracy should be very high. It should be well below 0.1%. If you compare the uh, 2D counter area and the 3D model surface area, or the unfolded edge with the model edge. So that should be good enough for you to cut the flat sheet metal. That's it for today. Thank you. Bye.